solving application problems using systems equations. I think this system should not be here. Chapter 55. You have seen most of these problems before, so what is new? Maybe nothing. If you're asked to solve for two quantities, a condition is given connecting these two quantities. For example, how many gallons of a 10% alcohol solution must be added to 60% alcohol solution to get 100 gallons of and blah, 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 and so on. We used to say let x be the number of gallons of the 10% solution, and then since the total is 100, 100 minus x is a number of the other kind, the 60%. Now we are going to say still x is the number of gallons of the 10% solution, but y is the number of gallons of the 60% solution. And when we add the two, we get 100. So if you were to solve this for y, you would say, like you did before, y is 100 minus x and continue. Except that now instead of having one equation in one unknown, we have two equations in two unknowns. We substitute and we're back where we were before. So what is new? Nothing. That means if you couldn't do it before, well, you should be able to do it now. Come on. Example one. A jet flying with the wind can travel 2,120 miles in four hours. Against the same wind, the speed is, uh, with the same, uh, against the same wind speed, it can cover 2,800 miles in six hours and 40 minutes. Six hours and 40 minutes, be careful of the units. What is the speed of the jet in calm air and what is the speed of the wind? Will the next be the speed of the jet and let y be the speed of the wind? Flying with the wind, you get x plus y, against the wind, x minus y. 40 minutes is 2 thirds of an hour, as I said, be careful. Six and 2 thirds of an hour, not 6.4. And uh, multiply the two, multiply the two, you get distance. Distance is rate times time. So uh, four times x plus y is 2,120. And 20 over three, 20 over three, six times three, 18 plus two, 20, times x minus y is 2,800. Crank it through, multiply it by three, distribute, actually divide both sides by four and divide both sides by 20. You get x plus y, x minus y. When you add the two, the y drops out. So by elimination, we come up with x, which is 475, and y, which is equal to 55. That was example one. 